Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome to PS Viewer News. I'm here with a spicy PS Viewer rumor for you today. This one is all about Horizon Zero Dawn and how it looks like we'll be seeing Guerrilla Games' newest IP on our very own PS Viewer headsets at some stage in the future. So let's just jump right in. So this rumor started life as a tweet from one Callum Hurley, who judging by his Twitter bio, is heavily involved in all things VR, including formerly being a part of the Oculus family. And this is what Callum tweeted. Was recently made aware of a very exciting new PlayStation VR game coming out of London Studio. Not sure whether it'll be for PS4, PS5 or both, but it's really exciting and an announcement could be on the horizon. Emphasis on the horizon. So while Callum here didn't actually say it, he heavily implied that London Studios, who are the makers of PSVR Worlds and this year's Blood and Truth, are working on some kind of PSVR game that will take place in the Horizon universe. And if you ask me, that makes perfect sense. London Studios and Guerrilla Games are both first party Sony Studios, so collaboration between the two is a no brainer and London Studios have pretty much established themselves as the premier Sony studio when it comes to PSVR. Not to mention the game Horizon Zero Dawn, which I loved by the way, prominently features bow combats and huge mechanical enemies. Both of these things would only be usually enhanced by a VR version. Callum's tweet mentions that he's not sure if it'll be for PS4, PS5 or both, but if I had to guess I'd say PS5 considering Blood and Truth is not long out and London Studios are still supporting that game with post-launch content. So, unless London has multiple teams working on different projects together, then I don't think we'll see this for a couple of years. After all, PS Viewer Worlds came out in 2016 and Blood and Truth came out in 2019, so there is a bit of a development time there. But even if it does come out on PS5, we are left with the question of whether it will be on the original PS Viewer or a next gen PS Viewer headset, which we haven't even seen yet, with perhaps some new motion controllers. Since that original tweet went live, news outlets picked up on us and Callum has since tweeted the following. Wow, news outlets jumped on this pretty quickly. Was hoping to keep this tweet fun and vague, but I know devs hate when their stuff leaks, so I feel a tad bad. Allow me to clear up one thing. I did not see the game firsthand. I trust the person who told me about it. I apologize to anyone working on the game who was upset about this leak. I did not expect anyone to see my tweets besides a few friends who are viewer players. I do not have a large following and did not expect the coverage. I look forward to the official reveal when everyone can see what the actual game is. I did not get this info because I'm an industry person, I just happened to know someone who playtested this title. So it seems Callum didn't intend for the tweet to pick up as much traction as it did and he feels bad about potentially spoiling a big reveal for the devs, which is fair enough. I'm sure Sony London didn't want people finding out like this, but it looks like the leak originated from a London Studios playtester. So what did you think about this news? Personally, I loved Horizon Zero Dawn. It had a great enemy design, really fun combats, and a surprisingly engaging storyline. So I can't wait to see what Sony London Studio does with this great new IP. I'm also expecting Horizon 2 to release in the PS5 launch window, so it'll be interesting to see if there's any crossover between those two games in terms of story or setting. Also, I think it's great that Sony have this dedicated PS Viewer Studio, although I'd love to see more than one, and that they can just borrow from this library of exclusive IPs that Sony have. So after Horizon VR, maybe we'll see Uncharted VR, or God of War VR, or Shadow of the Colossus, or something crazy like that in amongst London's own original IPs like Blood and Truth. Let me know down below if there is a Sony IP that you would love to see London Studio bring to life in virtual reality. Anyway, that is it for this video lads and ladies, but before I end the video, let me give a special thank you to my Patreon supporters who are helping this channel grow with their generosity and are on screen now. And also let me give a special mention to Columbus Thomas III, Pete Hawkins and Crumb for pledging at the top tier over on Patreon. Thank you very much for the help lads. If you would like to see your name on the screen too, then head on over to the Patreon link that will be in the description. But if you'd rather help out the old fashioned way with likes and subs and all that usual shite, I'd appreciate that too. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.